a dog. To another studio vlog. I haven't said that yet, had I? Honestly, I forget what I've already filmed. As you've been seeing, I have been working on my sticker sets. Again. Still. And nobody tells you how hard it is. I don't mean hard in terms of like making stickers. Making stickers isn't that hard. I mean, it's difficult if you've not done it before, but you watch some YouTube videos and sure, you know how to practically do it. But nobody, like all these videos on YouTube, nobody talks about how hard it is mentally to, to do stuff. And I've really been struggling. Like, I want to make stickers, I want to sell stickers, but it is so hard, yo. I start thinking there must be something wrong with me because there's so many people on YouTube who are like, oh, I made these stickers. Oh, look at these new stickers I made. Oh, I'm designing this. Oh, I'm making all of this merch. And I'm like, it's just so, like, I am so in my own way and I'm so, struggle with doing those things like you know once I'm doing them I'm okay but like getting myself to doing these new and scary things it's just it's hard so here amongst the sea of people who can get things done and apparently don't find things difficult in the sea of those videos on YouTube here is a video of someone who finds it incredibly hard but is trying to do it anyway so this afternoon I spent time taking pictures of my stickers and I had like a vague idea in my head of what I wanted it to be like, you know, like little vignettes, um, if that's the right word, um, for the different stickers, different kind of little backdrops and stuff and um, I find, I'm gonna keep repeating myself, but I find that really hard. It's one of those things that I really feel like I'm bad at and I don't, it's not because I am bad at it but that's just because I feel like I am same with graphic design it's just like I have no I have no experience I have no ideas I have no idea of what's right and wrong and it just becomes this huge obstacle in my head but anyway so I asked Andrew to come with me to help me to kind of like do some set dressing and help me with ideas and to just kind of like be there so I would not put it off and kind of just feel a bit more confident and yeah so Although I still 
really struggled. I am also really happy with how things turned out. Um, I really did my best and I'm really happy with the different kind of the different photos um, the, and the different little kind of backdrop ideas that I ended up going for um, and like little behind the scenes knowledge um, the little um, the little Halloween shapes that you see in the pictures they are actually cake decorations Build my tea. I still haven't really figured out the best place to film myself vlogging at my desk, apart from obviously this like up the nostril angle. I've got a bit of a busy day, but I thought it would be fun. I've been working on the packaging for my envelopes, like what's going in them, what's going on them, on the outside, and I thought it would be fun to have a stamp that goes on the outside that I can stamp all the envelopes with. And I thought about ordering one and you know I could, it would might be easy, but I thought like I could just instead of like making the design and uploading it and spending 30 minutes on that or 45 minutes on that, I thought I would just carve one myself. So what I did was I took one of my paintings, I just went I just went on Instagram finding some one of my own paintings found one of the eyes and then put it into Photoshop, kind of like messed with the levels and the brightness and the contrast until I was left with literally just the black and white, quite clear lines. I flipped it and now I've got some of this speedy carve, this thingy tool, carving tool, um, and I'm going to carve a stamp, see if that works. Roadworks noise. Right, let's do a little vloggy update because I haven't vlogged for like seven days and I don't know where this vlog is going. I don't even remember what is actually in this vlog and I have no idea whether it's like five minutes or 15 minutes or 30 minutes. So it's going well. First of all, let me just be honest and say that I have been, I'm having a kind of like 80-20 life right now where 80% of the time I'm really struggling and 20% of the time I'm you know okay slash good so yeah it's hard to do things and to vlog and just not even just that like just other things and then I do tend to vlog during the 20% time so it's kind of a little bit of a skewed view but I just kind of want to be honest about what stuff is like. I've been avoiding actually watching other people's vlogs at the moment because and, and try to not scroll too much on Instagram because I'm in this phase right now where when I do that rather than getting inspired which is what sometimes happens at the moment when I do that I just get horribly horribly envious and it's not conducive um, because the envy kind of 
uh, then morphs into me being really down on myself. I don't need that in my life, but I do kind of engage in it. Real talk with Iris, yo. With roadworks noise in the background. And then last week I had a bit of a setback, so I've been, as you know, trying to get my stickers ready, um, put them in a shop so I can actually go and sell them. However, I'm pretty much, I'm done with the stickers and the packaging and all that kind of stuff. I, the only thing I still need to do is add them to my shop. And then last week I killed my website in uh, trying to run an update. Um, I managed to fix it again, it's up again, um, but it meant that the shop that I had before is completely, like the software, the WordPress plugin, is completely borked. So <laughs> I have to start from scratch, which it probably won't be no, it will be a lot of work, but it won't. it's not like a prohibitive amount of work, it's just that it was very deflating. It was kind of like, it was already like the feeling of like, okay, I have to like take these pictures and then add them to the shop and make it all look good and write descriptions and things like that. That was already like a small obstacle, but now having to like reinstall all the software and setting it all up again and all that stuff is just, um, become a big obstacle and my mind is in such a way that like any obstacle really you know feels like a massive mountain and sometimes it's just you know like the energy just has to go to I don't know playing with my kids or cooking dinner or I don't know getting out of bed <laughs> so yes that's kind of what's happening um, my to-do list for October is about it's about half, I've done about half of it. So I guess, but some of those things were um, quite big. I had this one big deadline where um, I showed you, I think it was in the last video, I showed you some sneak peeks of something I was working on that I wasn't able to show. I'm still not able to show it or really talk about it, but I can say that it went well. Um, I made a video with a little intro and I am so proud of it. Like, it's like, you know, where I'm producing a, you know, a video that's a big chunk, but I spend a disproportionate amount of time on the first 35 seconds, and the first 35 seconds become really great, and I'm really pleased with it. So once that has been announced, I'll be able to share that little 35 second snippet with you, which will be probably in a, a few weeks time. So I look forward to sharing that with you, um, because I think you'll like it. <laughs> I like it, anyway, that's all that matters, right? Yes, yeah, so, and we got a hamster, which I think is how this vlog started, right? And is that like really far in the past? That was ages ago. So we got a hamster and he's in a big bin cage and he's called Cookie Bear and he's super cute. Um, and uh, we're enjoying looking at him a lot. Um, we're going through the taming process now and he's pretty skittish still, like it's getting, it's quite difficult, but I'm looking forward to, it's half term right now. So looking forward to spending some time really getting him more tame and um, I need to do something with his cage because we went for a bin cage uh, but he's been he's found the air holes and started gnawing at the air holes so I have bought some like rat mesh which I'm going to DIY around the air holes so hopefully that will help because we can't have a wire cage because of the cat because the cat is very interested in cookie bear it's very funny yeah, that's, that's a bit of a life update, life vlog update, and um, yeah, so that's also kind of one of the reasons that this, this vlog isn't chock full of exciting productivity, although maybe it does look like it is, because obviously that's the cherry picking of what you film. Anyway, I'm rambling on, this is getting really long. Um, let me... Uh, I'll show you the, the cage and I'll show you a little project I did where I hung some stuff on the wall and um, and then I'll see if this is the end of the vlog or maybe not, maybe it will continue, you know, we'll see. This is Cookie Bear's bin cage. Um, he's got two wheels because that one he'll grow out of so we've got a big one for him I've just ordered him a little house so the Lego box house is going is, uh, is going out tomorrow once the um, once the other house arrives and then there's this little sand bath and it is currently like 11 a.m. so he is sleeping it's Wednesday 
and I'm really busy because we're going away for the weekend so I literally had already decided I have no time to vlog but then I got this in the mail um, and I just opened it not knowing what it was I want to do this in the vlog because um, and I've got my assistant right here come over here assistant yeah. <laughs> here's assistant Hello. Uh, okay so I got this in the mail and can we already see what this is? Uh, can we see what this is? Okay, so my friend Abs, who makes amazing art, it's basically it's washi tape uh, that he designed himself. And I am, ooh, I'm so excited to use this. It's like grungy, grungy letters and X's and, and I'm just like throwing it all over the place. <laughs> And like grungy circles, uh, numbers, and grungy letters. Ooh. Ooh. What does what mean? Grungy. Grunge. Like, grunge is like um, when stuff is not neat and tidy and stuff, it's more kind of um, grungy. Ah. Oh, and look, they got all these, like, they got these nice names Eclipses, Inspire, Ponder. Artsy, crafty, encrypt, and then a plain one. Ooh, I'm very excited. The astute among you will realize that I filmed here before in one of my previous vlogs, and um, <laughs> um, and we tried to have a walk, uh, and I had to turn back about um, when we were about there because I didn't bring a rain jacket and it started raining. So, you know, what is it like two months later? Take two. 